Okay, this is how to power up your laptop and get your program going. Basically, you push this button right here. Let it power up, give it time. As soon as you see the, the screen, you want to hit the enter button. And the password is 7433. Seven, four, three, three. And you can see it just takes it right away and it's thinking. Shoot the circular. It's processing. Okay, good. So when you get to this point, basically just make sure that this cursor doesn't have like an hourglass on it. Looks like it's ready to go. Actually, you see the hourglass showing up? You just want to wait till it's completely powered up and that hourglass goes away. It might come up again, so let's make sure. Okay, now you can basically you double click, you look, look at this happy ghost. And what you want to do, you want to single left click real quick and right on it. Basically, you put the mouse right on it, single left click. This whole process is for dummies, okay? This is for people who don't know much about computers. I'm calling it dummies, we're not dummies. It's uh, running your via DNA system for dummies. Okay, and so you can see there's just tons of frequencies. It's gonna take a while, so. It's, this, is, this is uploading the software. You can see Spooky2 Frequencies is what it's called. And by the way, if you want to know why it's called Spooky2, why they named it that, this company, is because Einstein, when he discovered about quantum physics and frequencies and all that, he called it Spooky to be able to run this kind of thing remotely in a person's body. He called it Spooky, so this company just call it Spooky Square. It's really Spooky Square, not Spooky 2, but we call it Spooky 2. So they have a huge database and you can see it finally loaded. Okay, so here's the landing page and what you want to do is you want to just ignore all this. It's going to say the advanced mode is already checked, which gives you access to all these functions up here. But we're going to keep it simple for you. Basically, just single left click on user. And here you can see <clears throat> the program. So you want to just, again, single left click on the program to where it turns blue, highlights. And then you can see that the program loads in the middle column. And all you do is go to control, single left click on control. And then you want to check the allow generator overwrites box and hit the three, the, the square here. That's the port three. And what that does is just connect this thing up to it. All right, so now you can see it loaded the program. This one is total estimated runtime, four hours and three minutes, and it hasn't started yet. But up at the top, you can see generator three, July 2019, Ellie, four hour, 30 minutes, and all you do is single left click on the start button. And you, you can see it's loading. Give it time. It 
it's loading that it's loading that frequency set on generator three. And I heard a little small little click, and the uh, remote right there is flashing. You can't you may not be able to tell it's flashing. It looks amber on the on the video, but it's really flashing red and it's flashing red and green is what it is. So it's either going to be flashing red and green or it's going to be a solid amber. Either way, it's running. And that has to do with the the numbers on the frequencies, how high it goes. And then um, what you want to do is look over here and you can see Turn it around here. You can see the top one. See the numbers are changing. That's channel one, and that means it's running. And also, you can see it's plugged into that area there. All right, so. You're just gonna look a little. Your plug is gonna look a little bit different than this, but you can you can see. Okay, and then also you can see see it says current preset duration. That's one. It's already one minute twenty seven seconds into it, and then there's both output one and two. It's both running. Okay. So all you gotta do, all you do is close the lid. And it's going to continue to run. You do not. You can see it's still running, it's still running. So it doesn't. You can actually close the lid. It's just going to keep running. You want to make sure your blood is in there. Okay. And then you just leave it alone. You want to check it. You know, check it every couple of days. Make sure this this is flashing and that that and that that is that those numbers are running. Okay. And that's it. Uh, if you want to open it up, and later on we're gonna, you're gonna later on you check on the frequency. You can see it's still running. Okay, and that's it.